One very powerful modeling tool in Blender is the Loop Cut and Slide tool. To use it, simply go to the Quick Tools menu on the left while in edit mode and select it. Then, hover over your mesh with your cursor and you'll notice a yellow indicator that seems to loop around your mesh in various ways. If you left click, you'll notice that the loop cut has created a new loop of edges around your mesh where the indicator was, inserting new vertices wherever necessary. This is very handy for manually increasing the number of polygons in certain parts of your mesh for modeling. So that's the loop cut part of the tool, but what about the slide part of the tool? Well, for that, all you have to do is left click drag instead. You'll notice that instead of immediately creating the loop cut in the middle, it allows you to slide the loop along your mesh before letting go of left click. The placement of your loop cut will then correspond to wherever you dragged it along the mesh. If you happen to start dragging the loop cut on accident and would prefer to cut your mesh along the middle after all, simply right click before letting go of left click to cancel the slide. If you notice in the bottom left hand corner, after you've created a loop cut, an operator panel will appear that you can expand. This panel will include settings that will affect what your recently performed loop cut will do. For example, you can increase or decrease the number of cuts along your mesh, smooth your mesh based on a falloff, or slide to adjust your loop cut along your mesh with the factor value. For hotkey users, simply press Ctrl R. However, I should mention that if you already have the loop cut tool selected, Ctrl R will simply act as a left click action, entering the tool into slide mode so I recommend using the hotkey without the tool selected. Now, there are a few key differences between hotkey users and toolbar users for this particular tool. Assuming you do not have the loop cut tool selected and you press Ctrl R, you will also be able to very easily change the number of cuts you make by using the scroll wheel. This bypasses the need to open the operator panel to change the number of cuts. When left clicking with the Ctrl R hotkey, You'll also notice that it automatically enters slide mode instead of creating a loop cut immediately like the toolbar tool does. Simply right click to default the loop cut back to the middle of the section you cut or left click to confirm your slide position. Real quick, let's take a look at the practical application of the loop cut tool. For this, we're gonna go ahead and make a chair. First thing I'll do is take my cube and scale it down so it's flatter. Then I can take the loop cut tool and cut my mesh in a few places that will give me more faces in particular areas of the mesh that I want to work with. For example, we're going to have to add the back of the chair as well as the legs of the chair. So let's make sure we have four faces we can choose from for the legs as well as a row of faces for the back. From here, I can use the extrude tool, which will be covered in its own video, to add geometry to my mesh along my selection. I hope this demonstrates how useful the loop cut tool can be for modeling.